Amen. So why fellowship? I've covered some of those things, right? Um, it's not, now God saved us, I mean, gave us the gift of salvation so that we can have intimate fellowship with him. Now, uh, John 3, 17 says that, um, uh, John 3, 16, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. John 17, 3, Jesus said, And this is eternal life that we may know. No, there talks about spiritual intimacy, reconnection, receiving the life of God, being reconciled to the Father, being reconnected to God. You know, being spiritually reconnected to the Father. So God gave us the gift of salvation so that we can be spiritually reconnected to him. Now, the difference between the believer and the unbeliever is this. One of the major differences is that the believer is spiritually connected to God. The unbeliever may know about God, may talk to God, but is not spiritually connected. So at all times, he or she cannot be always sensitive to the Lord and cannot be... It can be led by the Spirit of God. Maybe it can be led from the outside, but it cannot have inner witness leading promptings of the Holy Ghost because it does not have the identification, the Spirit of God on him. The seal of God is not on him or her. So God gave us the gift of salvation so that we can be spiritually reconnected with him. We can build intimacy with him. Right, We can know him experientially. He can come to dwell on the inside of us. We can come to experience, receive the life of God that can never perish. And of that life, to also build of that intimacy of that life with other people. So God is calling us to fellowship with one another so that we can further extend the intimacy we have with him. Fostering growth, fostering intimacy in the body of Christ. Yeah, I told you that fellowship is deeper. If all of us have this understanding of fellowship, it will be hard or difficult for us to have divisions and fights when we come to fellowship meetings because our focus is on what is on Christ, not what we want to get. We are thinking of what we can bring. We are thinking of what the Lord is saying about this person. What, how does the Lord want to bless these people through me? Because this fellowship, this coming together is not about me. It's about a bigger purpose, a, big, a greater goal. God wants to heal people. God wants to direct people. God wants to bless people. And he has put me here as a channel. He has given me gifts and talent. How do I serve? Amen.